video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a quick frame now using Photoshop styles. First thing to do, just going to quickly go over to the rectangle tool and shape and fill. It's going to be black and just add it right over the top of the image. Now, next thing to do, just go to the ellipse tool and I'm just going to add an ellipse. Now, what you want to do then, just go to the move tool, select all of those and then go to layer and combine shapes subtract front shape so you've got the now that's a basic frame you can just do go with that also you can add styles to it so uh, just going to quickly show you some styles here these ones are from graphic extras but you can of course create your own styles very quickly via the layer and layer style menu and you can add bevels and satin and this this one contains i'll just quickly go to the layers there's the layers so you see it contains a bevel inner glow and satin and color overlay so you can just change it in thousands of different ways of course you could add multiple frames as well you don't have to just have one you could have two three four and combine them to create many interesting designs so just quickly show you the other some other styles just quickly sort of possible effects you can create for your frame and of course not only that you can also move the frame so you don't have to have it like it is there you can actually turn around and say oh, just turn it around a bit also of course I'm just going to quickly add there you can always add to the frame as well so if you decide right well I've got that now I've suddenly obviously got this there yeah, you can quickly just add on top of that and add on top of that again just go there and select all of those they're all still shape layers so you can just go to layer and combine shapes unite shape now unfortunately one thing that happens is of course it loses that style but you can quickly just bring it back or even a more abstract style now if you actually want to see how you can actually modify that just go into layer style and bevel emboss and of course you can remove the bevel emboss just very simple like that which again creates an interesting effect itself you can modify the depths. One of the main features here is actually this gloss contour. You can actually change the style very dramatically just by changing the gloss contour. And you can edit the gloss contour as well. So you just double click on that, bring up, and you've got a selection of presets. And of course you can actually just modify the result there and that will eventually appear in the actual frame. Click OK. Click OK there. And there you have it, quick and easy, interesting frame designs for any image. Hope you found this.